Hello there. Alright, this is going to be the first video for uh, a new series of videos I've been thinking about doing for a little while, and uh, they are going to be called Coffee Break. So, you know, middle of the afternoon is usually around the time I'm uh, craving my second cup of coffee, and, you know, I figure, you know, in other jobs that I've had in the past, I, uh, I like to take a little time in the afternoon and watch some video game playthroughs or check Twitter or something, so it's, uh, it's a coffee break, coffee break for both of us, you know, viewer and gamer, player, whatever you would prefer to call me, human being. So, first, uh, first video, I uh, figured a good game to start off with is Ronin. Uh, this is one that, uh, I played uh, maybe five minutes of, maybe a little more than that. Uh, at some point, uh, right after I got it, I believe I got it in a humble bundle. And uh, it's a really cool game. I just uh, I played it for a little while and then just kind of never went back to it. Um, but uh, yeah, just cool game. Thought it'd be a good one to check out. And before we get going anymore, the coffee I have today is a pumpkin praline so and it is in my uh, love works it just takes you it's up to you mug so uh, I'll try to remember to introduce the coffees in the mugs that I have them in in subsequent videos I had a friend who uh, for a while on Instagram did a coffee cup of the day so we may try to do something along the lines of that and uh, hopefully he won't sue us so, this is this is Ronin. If you don't know, uh, basically, you play as a motorcycle ninja on a quest for revenge. So, if you're not sold yet, I don't know what's wrong with you. But uh, the controls are basically I I'm playing on the computer. I don't know if it's released on anything else. But um, you know, basic movement controls. Uh, you click and kind of choose where you want them to jump and uh, if you say like right now there's no circle like here so that means I'm actually gonna hang if I was paused if I have the game paused I'd actually hang uh, in battle I guess it's only gonna do it in battle but I also have uh, while I'm out I can click again, and this is for a, a um, grapple gun. So I can choose where to connect it to, and he'll kind of do a swing. And uh, you can also, while you're doing that, click, uh, you have to click right on it. But you can click uh, that, and it pulls you up. So that's kind of it, the battle is kind of a real time and uh, I'll kind of explain that in a bit whenever I get into a battle. Uh, let me see where I'm... I really don't even remember where I'm going right now. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played so I'm not exactly sure. I know you kind of uh, hack terminals Okay, so you can hang. That's one thing. Uh, and this is a skill I've picked up, so I can do that. The light shows, uh, you know, someone would see me. They can't see me right here in the shadows, but uh, whenever I'm in the light, I'm invisible. So, and stuff kind of like this that is a little. A little not super great. You get a little hang hung up sometimes. Uh, it's it's fun. It's the controls just kind of a little wonky. A little wonky wonk in places. So we'll go over here. Okay. So all of this is lit up. So they're gonna see me the second I jump out. Okay, so 
He sees me. But I'm gonna knock him down. Okay, so this is the battle stuff. Also, that hint is fantastic. If you can't read it, it says this is not a stealth game, just kill everyone. Um, so I have options here. I can either kill him, but that's going to leave me in this guy's shooting line. Uh, so basically this is telling me what, what's going to happen. They're going to fire here. So what I want to do is get out of range. And this number right here, uh, right before I did that last move, it was a 2. That shows the number of moves before that person is back up on their feet. So that guy's still down. He's going to be up after this one. But I'm going to take this guy down. Can't get shot where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and kill him. And then... Okay, so I've got someone calling it in over here. So I'm going to go right here. Take him out. And take him out. Cool. That went uh, smoother than the last time I did this, I think. And it's just fun to smash through windows like that. Okay, okay. Okay, so situations like that are when, okay, this lockdown, you don't lose if they go into lockdown. It just, they call in more reinforcements and it gets tougher, but it doesn't automatically pause the game. So like whenever it's paused like this, it's when it's one step movements. But when you're just playing, it doesn't do that. Uh, naturally, it's really finicky. Okay, that's where I wanted to go. So I'm trying to figure out who. Okay, the lockdown stopped, so I, they decided not to uh, call it in, I suppose. Okay, yeah, so basically, in a situation like this, you're just falling, because I have no momentum. Um, I could throw my sword at that guy, but I'm just going to fall. Or do that. And sometimes you got to really, <laughs> really play it close. So he's calling it in. Okay, that was an accident. And just like little movements like that are kind of tough because you just kind of kind of make your way into it to where uh, okay there jeez all right yeah that is not fun okay stop calling that in ah oh. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool Yeah, so you can knock them into each other. I didn't mean to do it that time. Um, but it was cool. So you're usually just kind of like, 
playing with the mouse, making, trying to get where you want to go. But you can also just walk if you want. And like here, you can move. Okay. So. That stops the lockdown. I wish you could jump like straight up, but I kind of get why you can't. Uh, so I know where I'm going to land. Sometimes you're just basically dodging back and forth just until the timing finally works out for you to be able to, you know, take out one guy and then turn around and take out the other one. So basically if you throw yourself in front of an enemy, that'll uh, that'll put you into the uh, pause mode and it'll let, let you kind of play in your, your movements. I don't know what I did, but it was not effective. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to be right there. I think I'm out of the way. Then you have to retrieve it. 
Alright, now. Get to my motorcycle. Motorcycle. Wherever it is. I'm actually not sure. It's usually to the far right, so I'll just head in that direction. Uh, too far. That would have been cool. I've never been able to land right on it. Alright. Let's see, this is the skill tree, so I've gotten the stealth kill. Gives me two actions in one turn if uh, I can reach that. Let's see what this is. Uh, ooh, your collier sword. Hmm. Hmm. I would really like to be able to recall my sword, so I'm basically just going to waste that one. I guess you don't get anything for that. Uh, I don't think I want to. Okay. Ooh. Not seen that guy before. Let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> That's fine because he's not going to be able to get me anyway. You can do some cool stuff in this game. It's my jam. Mmm. Uh oh. That's a lot of guys. So you can wait however long you want to get out, but yeah, I mean, eventually. Dead. Oh, threw it backwards. This grapple gun is so hard to figure out where to go with it, but that kind of worked. That's uh, not what I intended to do. Yep. Dude, you're facing the wrong way. So you can get a little extra oomph with the sword attack. Let's see. Oh, those guys. Oh. 
I know there's a trick to feeding him, but I don't remember what it is actually. Crap. Uh, I say we just don't mess with them right now. Unless I have to. guys. Uh, did that. Huh, maybe he'll fall. Alright, well he did fall. I don't know if he's actually dead though. It's actually best sometimes if you don't knock them because then you can. Ah, ah crap. So like that, you can save yourself an extra jump. Alright, yeah, so that's electrified down there, so I'm assuming I would die. The grappling is the main thing I don't like in this game. Okay. And see, sometimes he'll do that. He'll just kind of pass through a platform. Okay. And I don't don't really know why. says lockdown and I don't really know what that uh, what that implies as far as what it changes Okay. 
Spider-Man, Spider-Man. So if I just keep smacking this dude, I think this one is gonna run out of ammo eventually. Haha, <laughs> look now. Okay. Uh, I think the first time I played it, I didn't realize that they ran out of ammo. people trying to kill me. I think if I just hit this. Oh. No, I don't want to do that. them. I feel like this is gonna kill me. It was something... Oh, did that dude go out the window? Oh, I think he did. Nice. That's one way to do it. I really can't remember how to beat them. Because I feel like I tried to attack him one time and it killed me. 
Like, I went for it and they just... Uh, maybe it's that you can't knock them out. Maybe that's the trick. Uh, I think you have to land right by them. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? You have to land right by them so that you can... Uh... Attack him. Nope. Alright, yeah, so it says I'm in lockdown, but I don't... I don't see what that, uh, what that affects. Just getting around in this game is a bit annoying. The turn-based combat's great, it's really fun. The strategy and everything, but just actually getting to, from point A to point B, not a ton of fun. Except for this. This is good. Get to the motorcycle. Alright, let's see. Okay, because this is going to be the end of this video. Let's see if I can... That? Oh. Did a little two-step there. So I'm assuming you can't, but... That was pretty close. Alright, well. This was the first uh, coffee break video. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. The plan is to do at least one of them a week. So I hope you enjoyed your coffee break. I know I enjoyed mine. And uh, see you next time.